how's it going guys? Alright, you know what, today's kind of a lazy day and I know I upload reviews every day, well, I try to upload reviews every day, which I do. I upload at least one a day and today, I don't know, I just, I, I kind of made this review a little bit late and, you know, I, I'm just not feeling like making a review today so I just thought I'd randomly pick one from my DVD collection, um, just a random movie, like, I kind of, like, closed my eyes, picked a movie, did I review this yet? Nope, alright, well, I'm reviewing it, and that is John Carpenter's The Ward. Um, this is a 2010, 2010 horror film directed by the one and only John Carpenter, one of the greatest horror movie directors of all time. This movie, it's kind of odd that John, Com John Carpenter did this movie, it's... I don't think it'd be something that he would do, because this is, like, a modern horror movie. Like, this is a horror movie that you would see, like, I don't know, on the Sci-Fi Channel or something. Um, which, I guess that makes sense. But what it's about, this girl named Kristen. Um, it's been a while since I've seen this, but uh, trust me, I've seen this movie, like, a thousand times. This is a movie I've watched ever since I was, like, kind of a kid. Um, I was, like, 12. But, yeah, so... What it's about, it's about Kristen, and, um, you know, it just starts off with her, she's, like, walking down the road, I think, she, yeah, she's burning down a house for some reason, and she's, like, all bruised up and beat up for some reason, and the cops get her, and they send her to an insane asylum, where she meets a couple of friends, kind of, uh, acquaintances, um, you know, she meets these five friends, I think they're five. There's five of them, and, you know, they're all crazy, because after all, they are in an insane asylum, and, you know, one of them's crazy, another one's, uh, it, they're, like, it's kind of like a, I don't know how to explain this, but what the whole purpose of the movie's about, it's, this, um, asylum is supposedly haunted by a ghost of somebody who originally was at, in the asylum, and, um, you know, she's just trying to find out, like, the curse, and, or, like, the ghost and how it all happened. And there is a very... An amazing and twist ending. An amazing twist ending. It's... I kind of just remembered, remembered it right now. And how amazing that twist ending was. But if you have not yet seen this movie, please do. It is actually very, very good. I did not expect it to be all that great. But you know what? It surprised me. And it's pretty awesome. There are some scary scenes, not a whole lot of blood and gore. It's more like a psychological, haunted, asylum kind of movie. Um, you know, with, like, ghosts and stuff and demons. But it's, you know, it's, um, there are a bit, like, disturbing parts. Like, eyes and teeth freak me out in movies, and there's a part where they stick a needle in their eye, and they, like, jam it in. What's that thing called? They do it in hospitals or same asylums a lot. That is my worst fear, but... So, yeah, um... The Ward is a very well-made film. You know, a lot of people didn't like it. I, I, honestly, I love this film. This is one of my, no, never mind. It's not one of my John Carpenter's, one of my favorite John Carpenter movies, but it is definitely a very good one. Overall, I would probably give John Carpenter's The Ward four out of five stars. I've seen this movie again. I can't even tell you how many times. Like, I don't know word for word, but I've seen it a lot of times. You know, that twist always gets me at the end. It's such an awesome movie. Please check this out if you have not yet. Um, a perfect rental. So, yeah. So, that's my review on John Carpenter's The Ward. I said that really weird. But, um, yeah. Again, today's just a lazy day for me. I really didn't feel like doing anything. So, I just decided to make this quick little review of one of my DVDs. So, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment down below on what movie I should review next. And I will see you guys later.